Uh, a very good evening to all of you. And thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity to present this case study here. So basically, I am dietitian and standing in front of so many doctors, a little bit uh, anxious. But yes, this is just a case study where I want to showcase that how I help the patient to uh, reduce his uh, glycemic control or to help him uh, get better glycemic control with the help of meal combination and meal sequencing. So uh, it's a basically a clinic patient. Uh, though I work with the hospital, but the case study I included uh, is uh, before I joined the hospital and he was my clinic patient. So uh, he visited the clinic and I wanted to provide him better uh, glycemic control with the uh, better energy levels and all. So the uh, object uh, was uh, to provide good glycemic control and improve the energy levels in, uh, in a recently diagnosed type 2 diabetes mellitus patient uh, with the help of medical nutrition therapy. Uh, and I used meal combination and meal sequencing methods uh, to get these results. So the background and introduction. Basically, uh, we all know that we are discussing that uh, combination of meal or like for getting better insulin sensitivity uh, or reducing the insulin resistance, the combination of uh, nutrients or the distribution of nutrients is uh, very, very important ra rather than just uh, looking on the calorie numbers. So uh, this is the introduction where I helped my patient to get a proper combination of nutrients and the sequence of food, what he is eating, to change that sequence, like before eating carbohydrates, if we include a good amount of uh, protein, fibers, and uh, uh, good quality fats like omega-3 and uh, uh, MUFA, help us to get better insulin curve. Madam, you are doing very well. Relax, cool down. <laughs> Uh, uh, the background here, uh, like uh, I went through some studies where I, so, uh, uh, I have seen that how people are using just simple tricks and techniques for getting better glycemic control instead of looking on the uh, huge uh, like medication or instead of like uh, working on the uh, many uh, in, in many things like uh, many fancy items rather than uh, working on those whatever he is doing making that a very easy and convenient way we can get the better glycemic controls. And the background was uh, we helped the patient to get better GLP-1 secretion, which uh, like uh, help for the reducing appetite and delays the gastric emptying with the help of meal combination and meal sequencing. So uh, my case detail is he is a 59-year-old male, sedentary worker, Agitarian, middle class by socioeconomic group, and teacher by profession, uh, visited, uh, visited the clinic with the chief complaint of weakness and poor glycemic control. And his medical history revealed that the, he is a case of CAD, old AWMI, ischemic cardiomyopathy. And a month ago, he was admitted in a hospital due to UTI. During hospitalization, he was diagnosed with the type 2 diabetes and was put on metformin uh, with lunch and dinner. And his eco, uh, 2D eco report shows his ejection fraction was 25%. His clinical history revealed that he has unintentional 10 kgs weight loss in last two months. Uh, to assess the nutritional status, I use nutrition care process, that is ABCD method, anthropometry, biochemical, clinical, and dietary pattern. So his anthropometry was 170 centimeters height, 71.5 kg weight, ideal body weight was 71 kgs, and BMI was approximately in normal range, but still I considered the calculation with the history of catabolism of 10 kgs weight loss. So I used the... This is the biochemical parameters when he was hospitalized. So a month ago, uh, a month back, these are, were the parameters he had. And the random blood sugar was 325, HB1C was 11.5. And clinical observation was 10 kg weight loss, presence of weakness and fatigue, but no edema. Uh, this is the home recall. So the calorie consumption 
was almost similar what I suggested him, but I changed the combination of nutrients instead of just working on the low calorie diet. So intervention was, uh, I planned the uh, nutrition therapy with the thumb rule. Uh, recommended calorie allowances was 25 kilocalories per kg of ideal body weight and protein was 20, uh, tw tw almost 20% of total calories. Carbs were 50 to 52% of total calories and 30% of total calories were from fats. I also gave him the choice for nutrition supplement in case if he has uh, unfeasibility or not feasibility for the dietary sources of protein. Uh, this is exchange list of my diet plan. So this is the basically food groups I prescribed to my patient. These were the food groups. And this is the meal distribution, how I distributed these calories uh, in different meals. Just uh, three, four more slides, sir. This is the diet plan, basically, what I prescribed to my patient. So uh, here we can see the meal sequencing and more focus on the beginning the meal with the fiber and protein and including every meal with a protein and good quality fat source. So these are the instructions and monitoring and evolution. So in this, we can see the uh, follow-ups of patient. So first, he visited on the 8th of uh, September. That time, main complaints were weakness, unintentional weight loss, and uncontrolled blood sugar. Uh, first follow-up, he came after two weeks. So improvement in weakness, gained some weight also, but FBS was still deranged. Uh, as per my previous experience with the CGM and nutrition, so I inquired about the sleep cycle, which was disturbed because his daughter was expecting baby and uh, there was some emotional stress. So I added chamomile tea uh, at bedtime. I also asked for some medication and inquired for the last meal combination. Uh, in the next visit, a uh, very positive outcome, we can, could see that there is a change in the FBS level also, and with the changes in the uh, PPBS also, weakness even, better sleep quality, these parameters has improved with, with very simple and easy ways. So these are the follow-up uh, reports what uh, we found and what are the suggestions we have given. Uh, in this patient, uh, after two weeks only, we could see the changes in the FBS, which was 202 and reduced to 158. Uh, PPBS reduced from 230 to 163. And after three months, with the metformin and dietary mo modification, he got the changes, 11.5% HbA1 to 7.6%. So I conclude here that the instead of just changing the calories or low calorie diet, if we change the some uh, composition of nutrients, we change the meal sequencing and meal combination, even that can fetch a remarkable outcome in patients uh, biochemical parameters. So I thank you all of you. Thank you so much.